Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Term 2. Term 2. Term 2. We're here. Had our holidays. I hope you've had a great time, a bit of a rest, and lots of adventures and good times with your family and your friends. And here we are, back here at school. And looking forward to a really good term with you. And lots of good things have happened. Mrs. Harding and I had a great time. We went down to see some uh, of the footy down at the MCG. And we went up to Lake's entrance and had a bit of a look up there, which was great. And we connected with a Christian school principal up that way too. We had a great time. And I hope you had a good time as well. But it's time to get back to school, back to learning. Back to fun, back to friends, back to teachers, back to our campus. And I tell you what, things have been happening around the place. We're still yet to get our new buildings. They are coming, but they will be a few weeks away, probably term three. So probably around about eight or ten weeks uh, away. So uh, we keep praying about that, but that's going to happen. I got a letter from the government the other day saying it's happening and it's on the way. They just made a few delays. But also other things happen around this school. I mean, look, there's there's things going on all the time, but did you notice there's a new bus stop being created? Yeah, look at that. Well, I went out and had a chat to the workers and and uh, one of the, the lead workers brought out a plan and he showed me the plan and how they're going to put in a siding and some concrete and a place where the buses can safely pull it, pull in and, and uh, have students on and off the buses and carrying on. So uh, that's a little bit of excitement. So I thought I'd show you a bit, but here's the plan. You have to have a plan before you can have a bus stop. That's obvious, but hey, you need trucks and here they are out the front there just doing their job, digging away. And here we have more trucks and tractors and pipes and diggers and uh, more trucks and uh, more pipes and diggers and all sorts of good things there to keep people safe while the workers are working. And then here we have the concrete going in to create the gutters. And look, there's a man working on that gutter and two people standing by just watching him work. Fantastic. And look, here's some pipes that are going to go in to drain the water away and make it all safe for us. So there you go. That was a new thing that was happening and is uh, exciting. And, and so another new thing for us is that we're going to have a new scripture passage to memorize. Now, I've kept like last term we were looking at um, uh, different passages and we looked at the Lord's Prayer from Matthew 6. Well, this scripture comes also from Matthew chapter 6 verses 25, 26 and 27 and also most importantly verse 33. So everyone's got to learn that one. So here we go. Let's say it all together. One, two. Jesus said this, Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you'll put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather in barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you can, by worrying, add one cubit to his stature? And here's verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. So there you have our scripture for this month. So get started learning the sections that your teacher asks you to learn from Matthew chapter 6. And we're going to look a little bit at that passage of Scripture and learn some things that will be helpful to you and help you as you love up and as you love out. Well, now remember when we were talking about the new bus stop out the front of the school, uh, that there 
there had to be a plan first. And the lead worker, he showed me his plan. And he could explain to me what they were going to do. Well, guess what? For your life, God has a plan mapped out in the Bible for you to help you live the best type of life you possibly can ever live. So let's have a little bit of a look at that because Matthew chapter 6 tells us more about how you can live. Now, the first thing we want to look at from today's scripture is part of God's plan from the Bible. That's Matthew chapter, two, chapter 6. It just says, don't worry. Now, some people, some people worry about things that they don't need to worry about. Don't worry. It doesn't help you if you worry about things. Now, here's this girl. Look at her. She's looking all sad and confused and lonely and not sure about life. Don't worry, young lady. Here's this fellow. He's all oh, worrying, thinking, and what am I going to do? It doesn't help. All it does is make me sad. It shows on my face. So there you go. The message for adults, for teenagers, you seven and eight, for young people, you four to six, for younger children from prep through to year two, and then those year threes are getting bigger and bigger. Don't worry. Oh, what does this say? What was that? Don't what? Yes, don't worry. Okay. Now, this is Jesus was saying these are the things that people worry about food. Now, do you have some food? Don't worry. God provides food, and bread. People worry about what they're going to eat. <clears throat> they worry about what they're going to drink. Oh, look. Look at this. How good is this? Water. It's beautiful. God provides us with water. See, there's yours. Don't worry about what you're going to eat or drink. and Don't worry. Other people worry about their clothes, what they're going to wear, what makes them look cool. And, uh, oh, what am I going to wear today? What, we, what about on the weekend? Oh, look at these cool dudes. Whoa. Don't worry about what you're going to wear. Oh, look at these people here trying to pick and choose and wondering, oh, what will I wear? Oh, this is a real problem. No, it's not. Not at all. See, Jesus is trying to explain that even the animals and, and the birds, God clothes them and they look beautiful. God feeds them. They don't even have Kmart or super um, shops like Ah, oh, KFC and Woolworths and Coles. Look, oh, look at this. See, ah, oh, is that what we mean when God clothes the birds? He gives them clothes? No, not at all. Well, look at this one. Do, do these clothes help him fly? No, he doesn't need that. Look, God clothes the birds with beautiful feathers, feathers that keep them warm, feathers that are beautiful and colourful. Look at these two. Fantastic. And look at this beautiful bird. They don't have to worry about clothes and what they're going to eat. And they, they find their food. And God clothes them with beautiful, colourful feathers. Oh, look at this, the peacock, of course. How beautiful. We could never make clothes as beautiful as that, yet God provides the birds with beautiful clothes. He feeds them. Don't worry. Oh, hey, here's our kookaburra. Even he has beautiful colours, beautiful bird. And, of course, the majestic Australian wedged-tailed eagle. Beautifully clothed. God looks after the birds. He'll look after you. True. And so Jesus says, look, don't worry about these things. God will look after you. But seek first the kingdom of God. Seek it. First, number one, number one. 
Seek first God's kingdom. And this girl, look, she's praying. This guy here, yeah, praying. That's what you can do rather than worrying, which is just a waste. You can seek first God and God's ways and God's kingdom and pray and talk with him. <clears throat> because God looks after you and he provides the things that we need to live, the clothing and the, the food and the drink. He provides those good things. And no one here in school is missing out on basic food, basic drink, basic clothes. You are being looked after and God uses your parents especially to look after you. God, God's parent, God uses parents as instruments to care for you. So what about you? Do not worry. Seek God. Seek him first. Seek him first. Seek God first. Not second or tenth or twelfth or never. Seek God first. If you need something, talk with him. Ask him. That's what this scripture is telling us. And, and, and seek him first before you decide to start worrying and getting all upset and, oh no, oh, it's going to be bad. No, just steady on and seek God first because all these things will be added to you and he looks after you. Okay, now we sang this song last year and I thought this was the best song to sing for this scripture, and you mostly know what it is. Here we go. Sing along I don't and do the actions. About anything. Step free about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. All He's done. Yeah, I said, don't worry about anything. Brush it off. Step. Free about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. All He's done. Oh, oh, oh. Philippians 4 6. Don't worry about anything. Step free about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Hey, that was great. I know they're quoting out of Philippians 4, 6, but it also relates to this month's scripture from Matthew chapter 6. So I couldn't resist. I had to play that song for us again. Most of you know it. Some of you weren't at school last year, don't know it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the song. And uh, don't worry. And did you see them doing all that churning around the tummies? You know, when you're worrying, you, it, it just gets you all upset around your tummy. And then they said about anything, just get rid of it and pray about everything and give thanks to God for what he's done. So there you go. Well, there's a picture of someone praying. You don't have to pray like that. You can, there's, it, there's loads of ways to pray. And I know most of you do pray every day. So that's great. Uh, and I'm going to pray for you now. So uh, let's pray together, hey? I'm going to close my eyes and, and pray. And you can say amen if you agree with it at the end, eh? Lord, just thank you for this month's scripture. Thank you for the teaching that we're not to worry about anything, that uh, you feed and clothe the birds of the air in wonderful ways and you look after us 
and that our parents are part of that and they look after us. We don't have to worry, but we can seek you first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added. We just believe that. Bless our school. Bless our day of learning. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so remember, seek God first. Number one, number one, number one. So no worries. Have a great day and we'll look forward to seeing you around school. Bye for now.